Welcome to Integrated Planning, where we take an integrated approach to growing and protecting your wealth. My name is Jeff Dick, and today we're going to be talking about healthcare spending accounts. Every single business owner that is incorporated should have a healthcare spending account. <laughs> a healthcare spending account is established in the Income Tax Act in Canada. It allows an employer to use pre-tax dollars to reimburse its employees for eligible medical expenses on a tax-free basis to the employee. The benefit of these healthcare spending accounts is that they act as either one, a great way to introduce a group benefits plan to your company, or two, as a great way to supplement the shortfalls of an existing group benefits plan. How healthcare spending accounts work is something just like this. An employee realizes that they need glasses. However, their glasses aren't covered under their conventional group benefits plan. What they can do is, provided they have enough coverage under the plan, is go out and purchase a set of glasses on their credit card. They then submit that receipt through their healthcare spending account. The employer in turn funds the account with pre-tax dollars and the employee is then reimbursed for the expenses up to a defined limit. So for example, if the pair of glasses was $700 and they have $500 of coverage under their uh, healthcare spending account, $500 of the 700 would be reimbursed. They would not pay tax on that reimbursement and the employer is able to fund that account with $500 of pre-tax money. So that flow which is normally tax deductible to the employer, taxable to the employee, has actually switched. It's not taxable to the employer and it's not taxable to the employee. It's only for eligible expenses, the definition of which is not only found in the Income Tax Act, but it's of course found on the website of the healthcare spending account that you work with. Many of the entrepreneurial clients that we, that we work with have just set up a company or they've had a company for a number of years, but they don't have a bank of employees. They may have a bunch of contractors, but they don't actually have a, a group. It may be primarily just them or just them and a spouse. So at, by definition, they don't qualify for a group benefits plan. A healthcare spending account, however, for all incorporated business can be a tremendous fit. A healthcare spending account allows them to then as employees of their own company now go out and deal with their own medical expenses as they come about. So, you know, a child needs braces, 10,000 bucks. What do we do? Well, we don't have a group plan. A group plan wouldn't help you out anyways. Um, what you are able to do though with a healthcare spending account is now allocate that $10,000 of corporate income on a pre-tax basis, move that through to the individual on a tax-free basis to cover really even the entire amount of that particular expense. Provided that expense is within that list of eligible medical expenses. And that truly is the key. You can't go out and buy a hot tub. You can't go out, buy a new set of golf clubs. You can only do what you can do, which is a fairly broad list. The Income Tax Act is very clear in terms of the maximum amount of the medical expense tax credit that's available to all of us as individuals. So, you know, in the event that something's not covered by a group plan, we can claim up to a certain amount under that medical expense tax credit against our income. And it, it provides what's referred to as non-refundable tax credits. However, that medical expense tax credit caps so once your, your medical expenses exceed that $2,400 or that 3% of your income, whichever is lesser, you have now capped out. So if you're earning more than roughly $82,000 a year, you're unable to use the full power of that medical expense tax credit. You now need an alternative method to fund those medical expenses. That's where the healthcare spending account can help. A company grows and, and you gain more employees, maybe you want to retain the flexibility of a healthcare spending account as a supplement to a now existing group benefits plan. You don't necessarily have to provide the same amount of benefit for every single employee. You, you have the benefit of putting into place a different level of benefit for a different type of employee. So for example, your executive class may receive $5,000 
of healthcare spending account. Your middle managers may receive $1,500 of healthcare spending account. And your individuals that, that perhaps are, are laborers or general employees may receive $500. But across the board, you can make adjustments to that along the way so that everybody does receive the perk of a healthcare spending account or an HSA as they're referred to, but not everybody is entitled to exactly the same amount. If you're a business owner and are looking for a way to perhaps supplement your existing group benefits plan or looking to start a benefits plan on a lower level basis, a healthcare spending account may be worth considering. In fact, we often recommend to many of our clients that if you are incorporated, setting up a healthcare spending account just for the sake of having it can be a tremendous benefit in and of itself. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. If you'd like more information on healthcare spending accounts, please contact your integrated advisor or your CPA for more information.